What's up everybody? I'm Kevin Rainey. This is F5 Outdoors. Uh, today we're going to show y'all a duck hunt from down the Mississippi Delta last week. Um, give y'all a little bit of information about the situation. Uh, we had some recent cold fronts come through and the nights were getting down in the low 20s and the highs were getting up in the low to mid 30s. Uh, so it was enough to freeze the fields that we usually hunt in East Arkansas. Uh, but it, for some reason, we did not get a push of birds from up north. Even the guys that I know that hunt on the rivers around us uh, were not seeing birds. Uh, so it got downright tough with this cold front. And in recent uh, years, recent experiences from hunting uh, around here, uh, a lot of our ducks with these fronts that don't bring ducks from up north, but it's cold temperatures, uh, a lot of our ducks will push down in the Mississippi Delta. And luckily, we had a buddy that hunts down the Mississippi Delta, and he invited us to go on a hunt. So we graciously, graciously accepted his offer. And uh, anyway, when we got down there, they had killed, I think, 29, two or three days before that. They had a heck of a hunt. We got down there. The field was still holding a good amount of birds. There's at least five or 600 birds sitting on it when we got there, as you'll see in the beginning of the video. Um but that was the only variable that we had working for us. Uh, we had several variables working against us. We had cloud cover, which doesn't create shadows, makes it hard to hide. And a recent storm had blown the brush off the roof of the blind. So the ducks were kind of shy of the blind. And uh, the wind starting out, as you'll see, we were killing ducks pretty close starting out because the wind was you know, going from our uh, right to our left. And... Um, we were able to work some ducks in pretty close to the decoys. And as the hunt went on, it shifted and shifted and shifted until it was right hitting us right in the face, which is the last thing you want as a duck hunter. Uh, so anyway, we had to take some swing shots to finish the hunt out. But uh, the coolest thing about this hunt and why it'll go down as one of my favorite hunts of all time uh, in 15 years of duck hunting is because there was four of us hunting, we limited out, and we killed four rare birds for these parts. We all got us a bucket list bird to go on the wall. We ended up killing three drake redheads and a drake blue wing teal, and it was just uh, really cool to do that. That's just, those are birds that we don't usually see in this region or, you know, the places that we usually hunt, such as, you know, buck brush or timber or, or flooded uh, rice fields and things. Uh, which the teal are common in there, but not blue wings. Our blue wing teal are usually pushed way south in Texas or Mexico this time of year. So uh, a Drake blue wing teal has been one of my bucket list birds for years and years. Finally got one to go on the wall. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoy watching this hunt. It, like I said, it'll go down as one of my favorite hunts of all time. And uh, I was glad I got to get it on GoPro and, and be able to share it with y'all. So I appreciate y'all watching. Here you go. We're down in the Mississippi Delta. We just jumped up about, what do y'all say, 500 or so off the field. Yeah. Jumped up about 500, killed one gab off so far. I think we're going to whack them this evening. Got Tyler, Chad, and Kirby down there. Yeah. Ready, ready to whack them.
don't know how well y'all can see this, but all these birds are coming in to roost for the evening. We just had an awesome hunt. Killed four limits. The wind was wrong, or we'd have been done a whole lot earlier. But the wind ended up shifting in the worst possible wind we could have had. We had to take a couple swing shots. But we finished, and now we get to watch the evening show as they pile back in here. God blessed us with a good one today. Y'all check out all these pintails. Some duck showed up in Mississippi. <laughs> Come on, we're coming back in the morning. I'd rather be poor living off in a hole, rich as hell without a soul. Life on earth won't last too long. So what you gonna do when the money's all gone? Tell me now.